I am uh, Dr. Rajesh Upadhyay. I am a senior director and head department of gastroenterology and hepatology at Max Super Speciality Hospital in Delhi. And I am talking about alcoholic liver disease and the role of combination therapy. Now, as you know, alcoholic liver disease does not have any specific agent which we can use except in alcoholic hepatitis where there are clear guidelines as to when to use steroids or pentoxifiline. For other types of alcoholic liver disease, no drugs and all we have to tell the patient is to stop alcohol, which often is not sufficient because most patients continue to drink. Therefore, we have to look at agents which may be of help in different modes of action in preventing liver disease due to alcohol. And I'll come to the first agent, which is metadoxin. Metadoxin has been used for a long time in alcoholic liver disease because it causes clearance of the alcohol and therefore reduces the effects of alcohol in the body. In addition, it also causes improvement in metabolism of fat. And there is considerable evidence that metadoxin accelerates or fatty liver recovery in patients with alcoholic liver disease. And this is the result of a randomized double blind placebo controlled trial, which is in front of you. So it is a useful agent. Now, what has been shown is that it causes improvement in all parameters of liver function test as compared to placebo. And you can see here clearly showing that metadoxin is much more than significantly effective compared to placebo in treating alcoholic liver disease. Now, uh, this is a study which showed a uh, reduction in the fat content in the liver in patients using metadoxine and uh, you can see that there is a significant change in the fatty content of the liver in patients using metadoxine and uh, this study showed very interestingly that metadoxine improves the three month and six month survival rates in patients with severe alcoholic hepatitis and as you know severe alcoholic hepatitis is a very serious condition because one month mortality rate can be 50 percent deaths and therefore uh, that is a condition if a drug can help and certainly it will be desirable now let's on uh, move on to the other drug which is silymarine now silymarine again has been used for a long time in treatment of a variety of liver diseases and uh, we know that it causes a significant reduction in the plasma 4 hydroxy noninal which is HNE and this is a product which causes a lot of oxidative stress it therefore has a vital role in preventing cell damage alcohol use increases the HNE level whereas this drug which is silymarin reduces and therefore is helpful. And this study showed that the use of silymarin, even in patients taking alcohol, led to reduction in the HNE levels. So the other important effect is the accumulation of collagen type 1. And this is because of stimulation of the stellate cells in the liver. And what this study showed that uh, patients taking silymarin, there was a reduction in the collagen laying inside the liver and therefore it will probably help in the fibrotic process, which is also an important part of progressive liver disease. Now, lastly, I come to another agent, which is L-ornithine L-aspartate, which is a very commonly used drug which is predominantly used for reduction of ammonia levels in patients with hepatic encephalopathy. And let's look at some of the data which is available 
in treatment of fatty liver disease. So what it does is that uh, if there is a rise in ammonia, it reduces it by synthesis of urea and by the synthesis of glutamine. And as you know, glutamine and its products like glutathione are very important antioxidants for the liver. So what I've shown you that since we do not have a single specific drug for treatment of alcoholic liver disease, a use of a combination of these agents can be very effective and is desirable. And I have certainly used it very effectively in my own clinical practice.